Hey guys, Terry here. How are you doing? Hey, I recently did an order with um, Penny Black stamps. I don't know if you've seen uh, Penny Black. I love their stamps. Um, they must have a couple different designers because some of their stuff is um, critters and some of it is very uh, natural, nature looking. And, um, and I love both styles. So whenever I get their emails that says they're having a sale, I cannot resist. So I want to show you what I got. Um, I'll put on the screen the before and after prices because I don't remember them. But I wanted to show you the goodies I got. Oh, it's all crammed in here. Um, they pack and ship it very quickly. So... Love that about them. It was coming from, um, they are out of Alexandria, Ohio. So, love that. So, this was one of their smaller stamps. This one is called Graceful. It says, thank you for everything, love and thanks, and your kindness makes you uh, special. Isn't that beautiful? So, I thought that was really nice. That was one of their, I think they called this a 3 by 4 stamp. And that one's called Graceful. So, I thought that one was adorable. Now, this one, I don't think I realized how big it is. But look at that scene. Isn't that cool? It's just these uh, cottontails and this fence, and it goes down into this field. So, this one was called, um, what is this one called? Seaside. So there's a good picture of it there. So I don't know how I will color this. I don't know if I'll use markers and do it on the different sections or maybe I will stamp it with uh, just a solid black and then use some watercolors or maybe even some colored pencils, uh, watercolor pencils and just do that because it's a few different colors. But I just thought that was really neat. And look how they colored the sky blue. It's the sky and the water. So that one's called Seaside. I did not know it was this big. So that is, it's more for like a 5 by 7 But I thought that one was really neat. And it's a rubber stamp. Um, here's another rubber stamp. This one is called Warble, which I think is this type of bird. But there's a sample where they colored it. Again, I think it would be really neat to stamp it in black and then maybe do clear embossing powder on it so that it just has that little bit of, um, uh, just a little bit more to the ink and then um, watercoloring it. That one's called Warble. Really neat. I mean, it'd be so quick to stamp it do the embossing, and then get your watercolors out. How fun is that? You could also use your um, alcohol markers. So, really pretty. Here's another pretty one. This one is called Daydream. Again, another large one. So you could either do this on a 5x7 or trim it down. And then here's where they've got it um, painted really pretty illustration. I love the rubber stamps. I mean, that'll stamp almost with, uh, you know, different intensities in the ink. So, really pretty. Very cool. So, love that one. Here is a pretty Christmas one. This one is called Radiant Red. There, they've got a sample painted. And again, a good size. I mean, that's going to fill up the front of your card. So, love that. I think that would be so pretty. Make up a batch of these and sit and color them while you're watching something on TV before Christmas time. So, love that one. Here's another one I couldn't resist. I think this is, oh, Potted Pretties. But it reminded me of geraniums. It's got it in a pot. Isn't that really pretty? 
tips. So love that. And I also love that their packaging gives you um, some ideas for the colors. Really pretty. I mean that with just a little happy birthday sentiment on there. Got yourself a card. Love that. Here's one. What's this one? Oh, here's another one. So this one I think was the one that caught my eye. So this one is called Winged Pear. Isn't that pretty? So simple. Just a little bit of color and then it's got the little Christmas ornaments. So I could just see that being stamped with such a pretty wintertime sentiment or a, a Christmas one. You know, from our house to yours, wishing you peace. So pretty. Love that. And then this one here, which is sunlit. And it reminded me of daffodils. Another another big one. I mean, that is um, that's a really tall, tall one. So you could do it on a 5x7 for sure. Or trim it down. I mean, that would be fine on an A2 card. So, so these are all from Penny Black. I think the company makes really, really nice um, rubber stamps. And then um, I don't know when they started making the little, the little ones. These are on acrylic. So, and this I know this one had a um, coordinating die with it too. I didn't get that because I can cut this on my brother's scan and cut. So, really pretty. And that one, they've, they've even colored that one in on the sample. So, really like this. So, that was my, that was my haul from Penny Black. I just did it last week, and it came, uh, the order came to my house just in a few days. So, it came really quickly. So, I'll have a link to the Penny Black uh, website. I think that I signed up to receive their newsletters so I get their emails and know when their sales are. So I hope you have fun this week in your craft room, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks, guys.